everybody how's it going today i hope everybody's having a great day so far today i want to talk about do i believe venting is a sin do i believe that venting is a sin now let me uh, say first of all it all depends on the motive you have okay see most people don't realize everybody vents in life to a certain degree okay Everybody does. Rather it's a uh, sudden that's uh, got on your nerves or something you got frustrated with or different things. You mean so I mean, but you know to say that venting is a sin, you know, basically it'd be like saying, Okay, you can't talk about what's bothering you, okay? See, you got to learn how to separate what is venting versus gossip, okay? See, there's a difference there. If you're, okay, if you're, if you're, you know, trying to figure out something in life or you, or sometimes you may get aggravated with something, you may vent about something, but then again, <clears throat> there are some people, you know, instead of fixing their problems, they'll gossip about their problems, but then you have some people you know, that get the uh, aggravated with certain things, but then again, you know, they will, uh, you know, tend to vent about it because, like I say, see, the thing of it is, I mean, it's good to talk about things that's bothering you. I mean, whatever the situation is, I mean, it's always good to, you know, have somebody to talk to about certain things that's on your mind that, you know, you could, uh, you know, literally, you know, trust that person not to, you know, go spread it to anybody if you get where I come from because, like I say, see, the bad thing, too, about holding stuff in and not talking about it, you, if you keep it bottled up inside so much, I mean, it'll literally turn into spiritual warfare and that uh, could cause somebody to have you know, some bad, you know, bad hardships, anything in general, you know, um, because they don't, uh, you know, let their feelings out, if you saw what I'm saying, because they keep it bottled up inside, if you get where I come from, because it's always good to, you know, talk about what's bothering you, if you feel like somebody's not fair to you, or you feel like something's not right, or anything in general, it's always good to um, be up and honest with one another if you get where I come from because because when you talk to somebody about things or you've been, been about something you know I mean it, it could really help you out if you saw what I'm saying because you know that person you're talking to can discern whether or not you're in the wrong okay or maybe you made a, made a wrong judgment call about somebody that person could say you made a wrong judgment call, okay? I mean, I hope it's a, uh, you know, makes sense here because, like I say, you know, because a lot of people don't realize there's a difference between, you know, gossip versus uh, venting. If you saw what I'm saying, because, okay, most people they will vent, you know, about being, uh, <laughs> you know, a few minutes late, or they may vent about. And yeah, somebody just take it too long at stop like it's took too long to figure out whether or not they're gonna go, so now you gotta wait another two minutes for a stop like turn green again, if you saw what I'm saying. <laughs> because everybody vents to a certain degree, but anyway, it just depends on the motive that you have behind it, okay? It depends on the motive you have behind it. You saw me. Because I could say when you, uh, you know, talk about things, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, something could be bothering you or something could be just, uh, you know, you just feel like some, somebody may not be uh, being fair to you as you are to them. I mean, it's good to, you know, have somebody you could talk to about those certain things. That way you can discern things easily, okay? Because, like I say, 
because if you keep stuff bottled up inside so much, it can uh, lead to a spiritual warfare if, it, if you're not careful. Because, like I say, okay, it's like some people can you know have some pride and not ask for help or anything in general, or, or you know they just don't they just don't uh, you know talk about what's really bothering them. If you saw I'm saying, say like this, say like um. Okay, like, say that's a friend, for example, or a spouse, for example. They can look at you and tell if something's bothering I mean, they practically could read you like a book. They'd be like, hey, what's wrong with you today? What's the matter with you? What's going on? You okay? I mean, you act like something's bothering you today. What's the matter with you? So, I mean, I mean, you look like you got something in your mind there, man. What's up with you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, see, that that's because they, they could read you like a book, if you saw me. I mean, some people say they could read me like a book. I'm like, I can't even read myself. <laughs> I can't read myself, but you know more about me, more than I know about myself at times. <laughs> but I can say, but, but that's a good thing, though, but if you saw me, say, because I can say, I mean, I mean, if something's bothering somebody, yeah, I mean, that's good to have been about something, or, you know, you, anything in general. I mean, I could say, I don't see how an event would be a sin, if you get what I'm saying, because, I mean, it's good to talk about things, because, like I say, that's where a lot of people go, get in trouble at the most. I mean, that is. I mean, that's where a lot of people get in trouble at the most. They... Hold on to that pride. They hold on to that ego. This ends up eating them up inside. If you see what I'm saying, that's like I say. Because I mean, you know, that's like me. For example, sometimes you know, I could been about some stuff on eBay that's been high or whatever. <laughs> but I used to do it a lot. But I don't do it anymore though. But like I say, but uh, but everybody vents every now and then. If you get where I come from, everybody you know, let stains, you know, off their chest ever so often. See, as I was reading the Bible too, you know, I learned a whole lot about reading the Bible and studying the Word of God. Let's to, you know, people talk about the Word of God and, um, and read the Word of God. I mean, you could learn a whole lot because, see, that's a part of, um, you know, being, a, you, you being, being in, in the body of Christ, is that you know you bear one another's burdens or and uh, see yeah you you uh, help those that are you know in need or you help those that are feeling down in life okay let me bring this up right quick too um you know that sometimes you know like how some church buildings could be sometimes when a person has not been in church for a long time some people will automatically you know, um, judge a person saying, oh, they done backslid, they backslid, but they, you know, before they even, uh, you know, look at the situation or contact that person and say, hey, what's the matter with you? What happened to you? See, but most church buildings I have heard about, the only time somebody would call and check up on a person, a member of the church that's been out for a while is, when they noticed they hadn't received the tithe money. So, I mean, I mean, I heard about that, but like I could say, I mean, I think that's sad, but when the only time pastor, uh, yeah, you could be in about, see, some people could be in about how, how some of their church buildings have done them, if you saw what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, if somebody's been, you know, treated poorly in the body of Christ, yes, it may as good have been about that, but then, Hey, Lord, thank you for praying on that part. Then, that way, a brother or sister of Christ, anybody in general, can say, hey, not all church buildings are bad. Not all Christians are bad. There's a good and bad in everybody, if it's all me. That's like I say. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. Eh? They, you know, judge everybody else based on a few bad people they met in life, if you get where I come from. And they, uh, oftentimes, they just, uh, 
you know, stop realize that because, like I say, I mean, it's a great people out there. It's a great outstanding people out there. But you just don't uh, see them as often. So to say that, you know, venting is a sin, I mean, that's just wrong. But it's like I say, because everybody vents to a certain degree in life. I mean, everybody does. I mean, everybody vents to a certain degree. You know, you could be working on a project. You may vent about that. <laughs> But like I say, honesty is the key, okay? Honesty is the key. Are you honest with yourself and God? You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, that's the key there. That's like I can say. Nobody would know that something is bothering if you don't vent about something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, nobody would know about that. Because you can't fix things, we don't talk about it. That's like I say, um, <clears throat> you know, venting, you know, it, yes, it is good because, you know, this, you know, this, this stuff off your chest, that's something that's bothering you if you get where I come from. But like I say, that's the right way and the wrong way to vent, though. You got to keep that in mind, okay? That's first why I said, you know, this all depends on the motives behind venting okay the reason why you're doing it now if you're doing it just to gossip and slander somebody that's a different story okay but sometimes some people vent is either because a project didn't go well or they just think that somebody's not treating them the way they should so they just uh, vent and let it out or they think the church building's not doing them well or anything in general but then that person will be honest with them say, okay, maybe you're overreacting. I mean, how do you know you're not overreacting? You're not, how do you know you're not jumping a gun on this person? So I mean, how do you know that you're not making a misjust for God? So I mean, I mean, some people even been about McDonald's getting the order wrong. <laughs> some people, <laughs> some people even been about the McDonald's ice cream maker being broke all the time. <laughs> that trooper told that it's the only clean the darn day. <laughs> yeah, that's that's <the> honest truth. <laughs> I mean, be honest there. Yeah, it is the only clean it. <laughs> so it's easy to put it out of order, so I don't there, so you don't got to worry about cleaning it. <laughs> oh boy, but like I guess it just depends on what you vent behind, okay? But like I gotta say, but. But yeah, I mean, now I don't believe that venting is a sin, but it just depends on the way you do it, okay? I mean, it just depends on your motives behind it, all right? That's what it all depends on. Because like I say, you know, some people just, you know, just need to talk about some things or something maybe bothering you or maybe you're fighting with something that needs to be pray with you about or something in general, I mean, like I could say. Because, I, because it's always good to have somebody to talk to, you know, when something's bothering That's what, the, you know, the body of Christ is about and fellowship is about. And it, and the, uh, I say, lady that uh, commented on my video this morning, you know, look for a church. You know, I mean, I, I pray that you find the right one, if so I mean. But I was like, I say, yeah, I mean, good fellowship's a good thing when you find a good fellowship, because like I say, because that's what the purpose of the body of Christ is, to help one another. You know, those that are in need or those that are feeling down in life or you're feeling down and out. You know, you just help somebody out. If you saw me, basically being a listening ear to the venter. You saw me? I mean, sometimes you got to tell somebody, hey, just let it out. Do what you got to do, then let it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's what you gotta do sometimes. It's tell somebody, hey, let, them out, let it out. <laughs> that's like I can say, because it's good to let stuff off your chest that's bothering you because I will, I mean, I'll go close here because, uh, I mean, it's because if you don't, it's just gonna eat at you and eat, eat, eat at you and eat at you more and more and more, and it, it'll tear you down, okay? It will. I mean, spiritual warfare will begin and depression will seek in. I mean, that won't be a pretty sight. So, I mean, as I can say, it's a blessing 
when you have friends or family, anybody in general, you can vent to, if you saw what I'm saying. You can talk about anything that's bothering you, anything that's going on in the life, they could help you out. So I mean, say, where some people go wrong at sometimes, they go on Facebook sometimes, but then again, you know, you had some uh, brother, sister, Christ on Facebook, you know, that'll give that person the courage of words. But then again, most of the time, some people have a wrong motive behind it, though. You saw what I mean? Because not everybody you vent to is a listening ear and an encourager, okay? Not everybody you vent to is a listening ear and an encourager, okay? Because you have to realize that because, you know, there's a snake that's slithering around because, like I say, you got to be careful with that because that's who you vent to, you know, if you vent to the wrong person, I mean, they could just literally spread your problems around that you have with whoever, if it sounds like or anything in general, you know what I mean? Because like I say, I mean, it's a blessing when you, um, you know, talk about things and, and they help you out and they pray with you, they pray for you and y'all pray together because like I say, you know, where two or, two or more are gathered, I'll be in the midst of, as the Bible says, the Lord was talking about. Because, like I say, because that's the, the, the uh, importance of the body of Christ is to help those, you know, they have fallen on hard times, if you get what I mean. So, I believe y'all with that. If y'all have any questions or feedback or anything, and I hope you pray that this uh, video is helpful for anybody that has, you know, uh, that question, whether right or not. Venting is a sin, and I hope and pray that this uh, helpful. And uh, if anybody has any questions or feedback or anything, just uh, feel free to leave those. And I'll see y'all back in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. God bless.